So we're asked to determine Poisson's ratio. If a cylindrical rod is placed in tension as shown and is elastically deformed to extend 0.02 mm in its length and contract 0.0003 mm in its diameter. Original dimensions of the cylinder are a length of 200 mm and a diameter of 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is just quickly jot down all the information. So we're told that we're trying to find um, Poisson's ratio. So that's the unknown. We're told that it's um, going to extend 0.02 millimeters. So that's going to be the change in its length. Um, it's at the same time contracting in its diameter. So, and what I'm going to do is make this a negative value. So remember that when something is a positive change in um, a dimension, that means it's getting longer. And when it's a negative change in the dimension, that means it's getting shorter. And original dimensions of the cylinder are given. So that's going to be LO for the length and DO for the diameter. So what we want to find is Poisson's ratio. And really the only equation that involves Poisson's ratio is this one here which relates together the lateral strain and the longitudinal strain. So to be able to calculate Poisson's ratio, we need to first find both of these. So lateral strain, we can get from the change in diameter divided by the new di original diameter, I should say. And similarly, the longitudinal one is from the change in length over the original length. So let's go through first and find both of these, um, since that's what we're given uh, in the information in the question. So the change in diameter, this one here, and the original is 10. We can see that everything's in millimeters, so that means they're going to cancel, and it's going to leave strain being unitless, which is what we want. Um, and this works out to negative 3 by 10 to the negative 5 for the strain in the lateral direction. So for the longitudinal one, the change in length, it's going to be 0.02 divided by 200. So this one works out to be 1 by 10 to the negative 4. Oh, one. Um, again, I should mention it was millimeters divided by millimeters, so they cancel and it ends up being unitless. So now we should be able to put both of these back up here and calculate Poisson's ratio. So there's a negative in the equation, and then we've got a negative again for that strain, and then this goes on the bottom line. So two negatives are going to make a positive, which is what we would expect. Poisson's ratio to be a positive number, and if you put it in a calculator, it comes out to 0 0.3. So looking back over here, one of the answers that we've got is, in fact, uh, 0 0.3, so that's what I'd answer the question with. So that's the end of this question.